Good morning, everyone. Tyler Segerman here with you from downtown Cincinnati inside the Heritage Bank Center. I'm going to tell you this. The walleye continue to light it up. Five more goals last night en route to a 5-2 victory in Game 2. That marks their sixth straight playoff contest in which they've scored four-plus goals. Simply incredible. Now, here's how they got it done. The veteran John Letheman in net as he alternates games with Sebastian Cosa. Many Toledo fans making the trip down and bringing some Huntington Center energy to Cincy. And it paid off early. Just two minutes into the game, Brett McKenzie going behind his back for Thomas Ebbing, who risked it through. His first goal of the playoffs puts the walleye ahead. Later in the period, Trenton Bliss behind the net finds a cutting Gordy Green, and just like that, Toledo doubles their advantage. Second period now, it's 2-1. to one. Andrew Sturch dangling and hits Drew Warren in prime position. Everyone lighting the lamp this postseason. Now the Cyclones would cut the deficit back to one in the third, but off a turnover, the Walleye start a rush, and TJ Hensick connects on the stick side. An empty netter would seal the deal as the Walleye win again 5-2 and are now heading home with a 2-0 series lead. Anytime you can win two games on the road, especially in this type of building against this team, it's something uh, you know you want to try and do. Be short-term look as we try to take one game at a time. Obviously got the first one, want to be a little greedy here, get the next one, which we did. Uh, now we go back home. We just have to make sure that we're business-like. We know it's going to be a tougher game Wednesday, toughest one of the, ser of the series, and we have to be ready for it. We just, you know, have that swagger that we've had all year, that, you know, what we had uh, going on that, that streak. Um, we just kind of keep that going, carried in the playoffs here. And, you know, obviously it feels good to keep winning these games, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's just another game. Uh, we're taking care of business one at a time here, and, you know, we got more to take care of. Um, so we won't be satisfied until we get that end goal. Toledo now possesses a huge advantage as this series now shifts to the Huntington Center for Game 3 on Wednesday. I can only imagine what that atmosphere is going to be like. Cowbells, glow sticks, rowdiness, it's going to be nuts, and I can't wait for it. Until then, though, that's all for sports.